come on. Is it gonna come out? <laughs> What's up beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber here do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your notification button if you're an old subscriber welcome back to your favorite today's place. video I am going to be um, showing you guys how I color my hair blonde from start to finish as it's already fading I just um, decided to film the process for a lot of you that have been asking me how I do it myself I'm not a professional disclaimer I'm not a professional I just prefer to do it myself because it saves a lot of money I mean who doesn't want some cash right um, so I'm going to be showing you guys that process from start to finish what I use and how I cut my barber cuts my hair and then I will be styling my hair at the end of this video sit back relax and enjoy this journey with me let's go so the first thing I do first is I take the bleach I use the quick blue I'm going to cut that and just pour the powder into the bowl so you pour that in then two I use the developer the only one I found in the store was this 30% 30% volume or whatever it's called I don't know I just use this one I'm going to pour everything into the bowl and then mix that up nicely Then I'm going to go ahead and put this into my hair. This is the messy part, guys. But let's see how well we do. Now that our bleach is done, the next thing I'm going to do is put all of this into my hair. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, it's about to get messy. But yeah, if you don't see me properly at some point, please bear with me. It's because I'm trying to see the mirror and, you know, get the color into my hair properly so I usually start off at the top like the tip of my hair get everything inside before I work it down make sure you're not quick to rub the color on your edges because those ones get irritated faster rub it where you have thicker hair and then you can gently work it down later Oh my god, I forgot my, pardon me, I forgot my gloves because at some point I'll have to use my hands. So I don't want to be using my bare hands to do that. I can't see my back, guys. I can't see it, so my hand will do that job later. I have to be fast about this because it gets really active quickly I'm about to go in with my hands because now I have to like massage everything into the root of my hair and make sure the color gets all the way to every part of my hair what I'm gonna do now is cover my hair in my shower cap I'm leaving out some of the bleach because what happens often is at the time this bleach colors my hair it might not be as blonde as I want it so I'll have to go back with the remaining part of the bleach so that's why I'm leaving out all of that remaining part of the bleach so I'm going to co cover my hair now I think we're good here I'm just going to cover it up and let 
the heat to the magic. We are going to leave this for let's say 30 40 minutes and we will be back so this is my hair after 30 minutes of wait time and there is one thing that comes to my mind at this point every time I tell myself I want to do a white blonde it is to just leave the color after the bleach as it is but today I'm not doing that I'm going all out I'm taking that risk if I get a white blonde glory be to God if I don't get a white blonde I'm gonna take the color I get it's my hair right so for that I'm going to be using the Laure Pari um, Feria that I got so it's color for white blonde you can see all the colors here what it would give you if your hair was this color before so I'm going to be trying it and see how it goes these are all the products that came with it I think this is the developer and this is the conditioner after you color this is the this is also a conditioner for cool tones and this also is the lightning shimmer cream this is the bleach so let's dive in i just finished mixing the developer and the bleaching cream so i'm going to put that right into my hair come on is it gonna come out okay here we go so I'm going to this is going to be harder than I thought <laughs> I'm going to mix all of this in my hair again after doing all of that I will be covering my hair as well okay I'm going to do the rest of camera see you guys soon welcome back lovelies we are finally done this is the look of my hair after the second color that i used i'm so happy that i was able to achieve this white blonde i have been wanting to do a white blonde for the longest time i just end up going to the bleach color but today i said because i'm filming for youtube i have to go to that extra mile take the risk and whatever color i get i will take it but we got the white blonde guys so the next step is to go get my hair cut. Um, I'm probably going to go to my barber or he will come to me because we're like neighbors. So after all of that, I will style my hair, do my makeup and see how lit this look is. It's just annoying that after going through all of this stress, I have nowhere to go. After styling this hair, I have nowhere to go. It's just going to be from my sitting room to my room to the bathroom. but. <laughs> We hope this old stuff goes away soon, this old wahala goes away soon so that we can still have the summer looks, you know what I'm saying? Anyways guys, I will see y'all in the next slides when I style this look. I mean, who is it? Hmm, look who is here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> What's up? I'm good. Welcome back beautiful people so this is the final look after my hair has been cut shaped and I did my makeup 
I hope you guys loved it. I hope you loved the process. I will include my barber's contact details in the description box down below. Make sure you contact him if you're in Winnipeg. He is the best barber out of Winnipeg. No cap. Thank you guys for watching this video today and for joining me through this journey. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Any other idea of videos that you want to see me shoot. And leave your comment down below if you like my new look. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Baby, go down low. Best I let go. Did your